Okay, so you can see when the corn is there, it's coming up. The first thing that comes up is this stock. Can anybody see corn there? No. But this stock does it have life in it or not? Yes. Huh? Yes. No, it's okay. It it has life, I mean. Yes. Now the life in this stock is the life that is in the corn. True or false? No. We agree. Huh? Yes. Okay. Now after a while, you begin to see. Some other things, they begin to come out. They are coming out from the stock here. Eh? They begin to look like blades. Mm. They begin to come out like flower, like flower on the side. Eh? So all of this is coming from the stock. Oh. After a while, all of these things Huh? All of these things, they begin to do what? Disappear. Mm -hmm. They drop off. You can see them here, looking like a leaf. leaf. They begin to disappear. And what will come out, which I don't have here, is something that looks <laughs> like, you know, Dada? Yes. You know, you know Dada, yes. Dada's hair? Yes. Huh? Yes. It begins to come out. Yeah, it begins to come out all over here. By that time, all of this is not there. It is the data that is coming up. After a time, the data will disappear. And then you begin to see something like this. Ah. Can you see it, George? Yes, yes sir. Something like this begins to come up. When that, that, that thing was there, was there life in it or not? Yes, yes, yes. There was life. The life is still coming from the corn. It has moved from stock. It has come into these things that look like leaves. Then all of these ones die away. Then you get to see those things that look like that, that here. And, and it's not here right now. And after a while, that one too, Will disappear, yes. and you begin to see. First of all, at the bottom here, you begin to see something that begins to look that, okay. eh? okay. that begins to look like a corn. Mm -hmm. This one now eh? mm -hmm. is what is called shock. When you're touching. The one I'm touching now, this thing that looks like on your hand, mm. this is one that's called shock. Which one is covering it? Eh? Which one is the tassel? Tassel is, no, tassel is the dada. Okay, the dada. Yes. It's, it's not this one hanging around. Not this one. Uh, yes, look at it, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I, didn't, I didn't even see this. I'm okay. only seeing for the first time now. But if you open it now, you will see so, something else. Yeah. Uh, so, so this is the tassel, you know. Yes. Sometimes it's called the pollen, you know. But pollen or tassel, the same thing. It's the next after 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 stock. This is stock. Mm -hmm. The stock will develop all these things that look like mm -hmm. leaf. Eh? Then when the buff, we begin to see the next stage is this one that looks like that. Mm -hmm. eh? That's the next stage. So this is the tassel or pollen. When this is over, you now see this thing that looks like corn. corn. This is the shock. But the real corn is inside, inside. of the so shock. But if you don't look well, when you are looking at this corn, uh, looking at this shock, you think you have come to the oh. corn, whereas you know the soul. So since you've seen that now, let's bring it back to scripture now. No one thing about what I've been trying to say to you. 
What you see in this matter of the seed shall not be heir with the shock is talking about the whole Bible. I'm talking about the Christian, about Christianity. If you want to use New Testament, okay, by me. God stepped into time. You took on flesh. Not be so. Yes, sir. Jehovah come and time inside woman. Or he put seed. He put the uh, gem inside the woman. Put the egg inside of the woman. I want to stress, please hear me again. Eh? You know when a man sleeps with a woman, eh? the woman will produce the egg. Yes, when a man sleeps with a woman, the woman will produce the egg. The man will produce the sperm. Okay? Yes, sir. Sometimes called the hemoglobin, yes. which is where the blood is. It's coming from the man. Yes, sir. It is not what happened in the case of Mary. We are not understanding, people are not understanding this matter. This is why I'm saying this teaching on the seed shall not be air with the shock. It looks, oh, what is that in the talk so? But I'm telling you, eh, if you grasp it, the Bible will open to you. You will understand what, why you are here, what you are doing on this earth now. You who say you want to go in rapture, you will understand why. Because they will tell you, they give you an idea about Mary. No man slept with Mary, true or false? Yes, sir. Nobody, Abby? Yes, sir. But did Mary give birth to a child or not? Yes, he gave birth. He born to kill? Yes, sir. How I come born to kill when no man sleep with her? Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. What I'm trying to make you understand is when man sleeps with woman, the woman produces the egg, the man brings his own sperm. In the case of Mary, God produced the egg. John, I want you to catch this in church. God was the one who produced the egg. Mary did not produce any egg. This is the point I'm trying to, I've been trying for weeks now to let this thing to, to enter. And when I look at your faces, I say, oh my goodness, I don't think they've caught what I'm trying to tell them. Mary had no egg. Yes, question. Okay. In essence, that's to say that Mary had no hand in that. Absolutely. Complete and total. Mary had all that God wanted of Mary. Gabriel. Talking to Mary. Mary, you go born the kid or go born one boy. Mary say, eh? You like say, Gabriel, the angel, eh? You don't know, say, I don't know, man. Gabriel said, Gabriel said, don't worry about the no, no man. What I'm telling you is that you are going to have a child and you will not have to sleep with any man. Mary said, hmm? It's possible. Gabriel said, Yes. All I want to know is whether you will agree or not. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of God, be it done unto me part according to your word. Does yeah, Gabriel have word? No. Hey, church? No. The word that Gabriel spoke, who gave him? Oh, God. Are you catching it now? Yes. And the moment Mary said that, be it done unto me according to your word, that means I accept the promise. Let it happen to me so. That moment, God produced the egg inside of Mary, produced the sperm inside of Mary. Mary became immediately pregnant. So, is this really clear now? Yes. 
So Mary had absolutely nothing to do. Mary in a cupboard, incubator. Mary, I want, I, I'm putting something inside your womb. When I'm ready, I'll remove it. So Mary took food, though. He drink water. He no concern the baby with the inside her. Because that baby is taking nothing. I don't think Mary go through the baby. <laughs> you know, nothing. He no had anything at all. So what you're saying is, uh, if Mary is eating, Mary is, is eating. Yes, Jesus is not feeding. Nothing, him. nothing from so Mary. Nothing. nothing from Mary. That's why Jesus is like me and you, all the names. Eh? But you don't get never because there's no black court between Jesus. Oh, he doesn't have nothing. No. Jesus. The reason the reason you and I have never is because the umbilical cord yes. that joins mama and picking in the womb. Yes. Uh -huh. So Jesus doesn't have that. Because he, he had nothing to take from Mary. I need to <laughs> no. he had nothing, he had nothing to take from Mary. Therefore, he had no never. We don't know Jesus, no get. Yeah, this from the yes, first because time. because sure. there was nothing for, for him to take from Mary. Wow. That's all. Okay. You see? Mm. So now so now as you see, that picking was inside. Then that picking, this is Jesus now. Mm -hmm. As soon as he was born, God entered. So Jesus, the man, mm -hmm. was now incarnated mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit, who is God. And so Jesus, the man, now became Jesus, the Christ. Mm -hmm. Are you with me, George? Yes. Jesus, the man, is now Jesus, the Christ. That the Christ there simply means God. Yes. This whole thing, God fashioned the body for himself. Of course, that is all that. Jesus is just that's what the Bible says. Jesus is just a body that God fashioned for himself to live inside. Absolutely. So that when you are looking at Jesus the Christ, you are looking at God walking on two feet. And that should be something for you. That's why when Philip asked Jesus, said, show us the Father, and it will be sufficient for us. Jesus said, Habba. Jesus said, Habba, Philip, have I been so long a time with you, and you have not known me. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So she will be sitting here. Now, I think if we all, if we all understand this now, eh, I want us to move forward. So, God in the flesh. Now stepped into time. What did he come to do? For you to answer that question, you have now to go back to Genesis chapter one. You see why I say this to come back the whole Bible now. You have to go back to the Bible. Okay, God, that's okay. We accept Jesus. You are God in the flesh, fine. But what you can't do? Why are you here? He said, uh, "Why I came is because I created you, man. I gave you the whole earth. That is your kingdom. Rule it. Live in it." Multiplying it, do everything. 
be the little god of this earth. I gave it to you, free of charge. And then what did you do with it? You messed up. And I am God. I cannot change my word. I cannot say now, okay, because you've done this rubbish, okay, I don't want it again. Do you people, are you catching, are you coming, are you, are you flowing with me, George? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God could not say, I don't want the earth again. Do you know why? Because if God says, because of what man through Adam has done, now I cancel the earth, I don't want the earth again, it means he is not God. You are, you are saying, ah, Daddy, how can, that, how can you say that he is not God? He is not God. Why? It means God did not know that Adam and Eve will sin. That means God will have to change his mind. Do you know why I change my mind? When I'm talking or doing anything, do you know why you change your mind when you are talking or doing anything? It is, it is because when you first said that thing you want to do, eh? when you first said when you first said that thing you want to do, eh? you were saying it from the level of what you know. Eh? Yes, you are saying you are saying it from the level of what you know yes. at that time. So, so maybe a day or two or a month or a month later or a year later, you will not discover something else that you say, hey, if I had no 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 okay, I cancel that one. Cancel that one. No, no, no. Can't, I can't take it again. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Because you did not know the end right at the beginning. That is the difference, one of the difference between you, between me and you and God. You sitting here now, can you see what will happen in the next second? Mm -hmm. But can God see what will happen in the next one million years? Yes. This is the problem. Mm -hmm. So when Adam and Eve fell, mm -hmm. that the whole of mankind fell. Mm -hmm. Because when God created Adam, because when, when God when God created Adam, he created me and you inside of Adam. So when Adam therefore fell, you and I, all of us, fell at the same time. Is uh, the way I do this, George? Yes. Okay, now let's move forward. God has now come in flesh. We call him Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ. Eh? So I ask the question Papa God, what did you come to do? Why did you bother? Why do you bother to come and be man? Tell me you are God. <laughs> I hope you are, I hope this is, is, is you are saying something here. You are God. So what are you doing here in the form of man? Then he says, I, I, 
I am here because my word cannot fail. My word must come to pass. This world that you men, you human beings, spoils, I must bring it back to its original how it was when I created it. There is no way I'm going to allow it to be lost. To say that. So that is why I'm here. Then you say, okay, all right, now we understand you. Uh, okay, uh, okay, daddy, go. Now that you understand, uh, how do you want to do it? Is that not a correct question? How do you want to do it? He said, uh, this thing that Adam and Eve did, we have to clean it. And it requires blood to clean it. But it must be correct blood. You cannot use Yamayama blood. Absolute pure blood. So if it's going to be blood, if it's going to be blood, it cannot be the blood of angel because angel doesn't have blood. Angel does not have blood. And I know why they talk and like that. Now because of people with them, the uh, spirit husband, when I told them I get the spirit husband, angel no get blood. An angel is a spirit. Huh? You, don't, you don't understand? Yeah. Angel is a spirit. Sir. Yes. Concerning yeah. this uh, spirit husband, mm -hmm. there is something I watch. They actually interviewed the woman. Mm -hmm. She said, according to her, when she was a little girl, she got lost for some days. Yes. So later, the mother find her near the river. So ever since then, she started seeing things, telling people at that tender age. Yes. So now that she had grown, she refused to marry. She wore white thing from up down. Mm -hmm. And if you look at her, she looks strange. On the internet, mm -hmm. so they were like interviewing her. Mm -hmm. She said she have foster. I said, "Yes, okay." She have husband in the sea. They did wedding, and she have three kids. I didn't see her. Like mm -hmm. according to mm -hmm. her, I listened to her very carefully. Mm -hmm. According to her, she said, "In was they were there mm -hmm. in that interview." That the husband is present here. There is something that was suspended there. There is this kettle, mm -hmm. one small kettle, it was suspended. And he said, she said, is the husband mm -hmm. that do that thing? That is the new thing. That is what she said. But I'm like, yeah, that, let me tell you something. <laughs> we are, you are underestimating the devil. Although we are brethren, particularly those on the platform, please bear with us. You know, why we have weekday fellowship is that if there are things that the children of God need to know eh, and they don't form part of the subject for the for, for the evening, that does not mean we should throw it away. We must address it because we believe God will give us another Wednesday. And we can continue with it. So let me answer this question. I hope the, you, uh, they, heard, they heard the question well, Abby. I think so. Okay. 
You, we mankind underestimates the devil. Go back to Ezekiel 28 and see the description of Lucifer there. Then you have an idea about the power that was in him at creation. And God did not remove, God did not remove that power. Even after he fell. The devil has power to do so many things that will shock you. As a boy, I don't, this is not parents telling me. In the street where I was born in Lagos, I have seen mass crusades in a fight. I was born in the area where you call Tafa Baleva Square. From, 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 my, from our house to the Tafa Baleva, just straight roads, no corner, corner. If, come, if you're outside of my house, you'll be looking at race course, which you not call Tafa Baleva completely. The place called Strack and Street. That's where I was born. That's where I grew up. I have watched Egu, that's masquerade. Fighting. Ololu, they were from Masquerade. They at our own side eh, of the house. And Lakmangpa, they at the West Coast side. <laughs> and they were showing their power. This one said, let rain begin to uh, hit him there. Rain begin to fall. You remember the same street. Begin to fall at that side. And here, where Ololu is, no rain is falling. Then that one will return its own there. Do you think it's God doing that? No. That is the power of the devil. Let me tell you a very wonder over the world. Everybody knows about uh, what's that place in Portugal? Fatima. Fatima. You had the same Mary appeared to those three children. I have seen a video, the real video, eh? on that day. Rain had fallen, rain fell, eh? right from the night. Heavy. And the place where those three children said Mary will appear to them, all of that place was completely muddy. The rain was so much. All the ground was put up, put up. in the place called Fatima in Portugal. That, that town, Fatima, was named after the daughter of Mohammed, the founder of Islam. That, that was his, his favorite daughter. You know, Muhammad, Muhammad never had a son. No, he never had a son. So Fatima was his eyeball. He said, after Mary, the next woman is Fatima. You know, so this thing I'm talking about, this Marian appearance, took place in that, fat, in that place called Fatima. So this rain fell. Eh? When you see the when you see the video that I saw, the photograph, everybody who came to that uh, field was holding umbrella. umbrella. Because the rain was falling, and those children were out there in the field, and everybody, people gathered to say, We must see this woman, because the woman has been appearing to those children. So, this one was going to be the last of the third appearances. It's not a very marriage that appeared to them here. 
So while everybody was there, those children were in the field, they're praying. They were waiting for to say when the woman will come. And while they were waiting there like this, eh, all of a sudden, it's like something happened to the sun. Eh? It's like the sun started coming down. <laughs> coming down to the earth. If you were on that field that day, and all of a sudden, it looked to you that the sun was coming down. What did you do? <laughs> Every person said, yeah, 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 yeah. I know the heat. And sun is coming down the heat. Eh? All of a sudden, the sun stopped. And then what was it? What was The first girl went up a bit. That place will be mud. Eh? The sun there was like when you fly. Yes. Ground that was put on put out the every shoe and the inside. And mm -hmm. just at that moment, those children if you said, the lady is here. Mm -hmm. They said, Mary, don't call. <laughs> The people did not see you. The people does the people did not see you. It's only those two children. So they will say to people, look at this small tree here. Look at one branch there. You see that the branch is going up and down. Say so it's the woman, it's the lady standing there and talking to them. And then give them uh, uh, seven secrets of how things go be on earth. Wow, what am I trying to explain to you? This whole thing to the Catholic Church has built a church there, mm. has built a grotto there with the huge statue of Mary, eh? couple one big red carpet. Eh? When people they come, they are coming on pilgrimage. Eh? Mm. They will kneel, some of them will kneel at the beginning of the carpet, I will not get up. They, they will need it like that until they get to the coast of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I'm trying to explain to you is this mm -hmm. that God has absolutely nothing to do with that. God has nothing to do with it. So, I will give you this. I, I want to tell you the answer to your question. That girl who said she was a little child, she was abandoned near water side. She, I, was, I, I'm not, she, she has not lost. Listen, she's 100% possessed by the powers of hell. That is all. Okay, we be that she did best, according to It her. is all part of. Those that when that song, when that thing moved that day in Portugal, eh, did the sun actually move? <laughs> did the sun move? Why not? It did not. That it was illusion. It is illusion and it looked completely practical. Ah. What I'm trying to explain to you, children of God, please listen. We are not kids here. All of us know what the sexual act is. We all know what the sexual act man going into a woman. There is no way a man can go into a woman with his private parts. Huh? Unless blood is involved, it is blood that will make the private part of the man to have erection. Yeah. 
So has devil the power to produce blood? Okay. <laughs> Do you understand? Devil has no power to produce blood. For all the power that God gave to Satan, God made sure he will never have the power of creation. And that is the one thing that devil has been looking for. And that's the whole reason of what he did in the Garden of Eden. To be able to create his own being on this earth. But there's no way it can work. God will not allow any other power besides himself to be a creator. So it is foolish. But there's possession. There's illusion. You will think that it is so. You will feel it that it is so. And yet it is not so. This power of to make you think this is so when it is not so is besides the Satan. And he uses it a lot. There is no way that a spirit, church, here well, there is no way that a spirit can sleep with a human being. It is impossible. It's impossible. A spirit has no blood. And you cannot talk about sexual act without blood being present. So where is it going to get it? Satan has so got into us, including inside of churches, that they begin to believe all of these things. And then that gives it power. That gives it power. Because when you get to say this thing, you, know, what you say, look, there was a man called Adolf Hitler. He had a, 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 a minister eh, in his cabinet called Goebbels. He's minister of information. Eh? Goebbels said, keep repeating a lie. Just keep repeating a lie, repeating a lie, repeating a lie. See, after a time, it will become truth in the, in the eyes of people. They come to see it as reality. That is in fact. It is not. And you can never convince them that it is not. Okay, so let's get back quickly to what we are doing, what we are saying. So, God came to this world so as to bring the world back to what it was that he, God, had made it to be. And for that to happen, he will have to cleanse what happened in the Garden of Eden, the sin there, you have to clean it by blood. So, an angel has no blood. Angel has no blood, so God could not use angel. Ground has no blood. Tree has no blood. Water has no blood. Air has no blood. Water has no blood. Light has no blood. So nothing, nothing has blood except the birds when they fly, the fish in the water, animal on the ground, and man. That's all that has blood. Now, there's no way that God can use the blood of fish, can use the blood of animal, can use the blood of bird. Why? Because the blood of animal is inferior to the blood of man. And he, and he cannot use the blood of man because the blood of man has been contaminated. 
And as I've always told you, you cannot use water water to clean water. You must use clean water to clean water. Therefore, well, and God said it must be by blood. So where will this blood come from? So there's only one thing left, only God. So that's why Gabriel had to be sent to Mary to say, you will have a son. But this son, which is God, that is doing everything. So, so that son will now have blood that is pure, 100% pure. And that is why that blood found in the body of Jesus is called the blood of God. Do you understand now? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, to so come to that stage where that blood will be shed, this man called Jesus, who is God in the flesh, he has to teach this world his doctrine. The doctrine of God. Everything from that time he can come to how God will bring the whole earth back to how it was before. You are with me, yeah? Good. So, he now has to have a ministry. A ministry that lasted three and a half years. During which time, he gave mankind all the doctrines of God that will make mankind to live as God wants mankind to live. And then knowing that he will still go away, so he called some people that you and I called apostles now, and he started teaching them. He started teaching them. So that when he would have gone, those ones will be teaching others. And so that teaching of God in the flesh will continue. <coughs> so that is the stage where we now come to talk about seed and shock. That word that God came to teach man, that is the word of God, that is the seed. Are you with me now? And you know, seed cannot stay alone. There's something here. So, eh, that thing, every, like seed now, so the, Okay, so that seed now, eh? if you take corn, eh? corn, one corn, is it of use to you? If you take what? One, a grain of corn. No? It must grow big more up for it to be useful to you. Not so. Uh -huh. okay. so Jesus came now and gave us the seed. 
which is his word. Then he left. Then what happened? The moment he left, the devil came in and started attacking that seed, which is the world. Are you with me? If you are attacking something, eh? what do you want to do when you are attacking something? Are, are, you, are you attacking it so you can kiss it? No. What are you attacking it for? Kill it. Kill it. No. Yes. Christ is gone. His apostles are now on the ground teaching some others who you and I will not call them disciples. Mm -hmm. And then the devil also came up and said, Me too, I go get my own disciples. <laughs> and the purpose of the devil is what? To kill that sin, which is the world. Do you understand this story? And he started right from the time of the apostles. In the first church age, Paul tried. Remember, eh, if you go back to the seven church ages teaching, eh, if you check when the first church age started with Paul, that's around 53 AD. If, if you, anybody has that in here to check, you find around 15 AD. Those of you on the platform, when you read to open your diagram on seven church ages, you notice that it's time around 53 AD with Paul as the messenger to the age. That's at least that is about 20 years after Jesus had laid down the word. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the first 20 years after Jesus laid down the word. After he had gone up, the world was still intact. Then the first church age started with Paul as the messenger. Attack started to the extent that in the uh, what's that man? Revelation of man, John. To the extent that John, in his epistle, in First John one, I think two or three. He said to the children, say, did you not hear that the Antichrist will come? He said, no, don't worry about that too. It is already come. The spirit is already here. And so you know that this is now the end time. At that time, John said it was end time. Church, I want you to bear in mind one truth that the end time, church, hear this clearly. The end time actually started from the ministry of Jesus Christ. You hear me, church? The end time actually started from the ministry of Jesus Christ. So what we are having now, what we are having now is the end of the end time. Let me repeat myself again. End time actually started from the ministry of Jesus Christ. Because some of you say, but daddy, how can you say that? We tell of this end time. And what I'm telling you that, End time starts from there, but what you see now is the end of the end time. Is it because of that that uh, the disciples were asking him that time? Exactly. So that's why disciples were asking, when are you? Yeah, exactly. They thought it was going to happen at that time that Jesus was here. Okay. So in that first church age, now Wahala. But that age was able to be at. 
By the time we got into the second church age, quite some portion of what Jesus had handed down eh, was already killed by what Satan had brought in. Are you with me, church? Yes, sir. All right. I'm talking about the second church age now, okay? By the time we got to the by, by the time we got to the third and fourth church ages, by the time we got to the third and fourth church ages, what Jesus Christ had come to that seed that Jesus Christ came with his word, came to plant, eh? Third and fourth church ages, they do, it was already dead. To all intents and purposes, it was already dead. The seed was now buried. Do you understand what I'm saying, John? Yes, Therefore, this teaching of now is from that time that this seed was now buried. What will happen when the seed is buried? What will happen next? Okay, and when it dies, when it dies, what what will happen after it, after it dies? It will it will resurrect. You understand? Therefore, to resurrect now, look at it. This is the beginning of that resurrection. The seed is underground, on the on underground now, I mean. Yes. So it's coming up again now. The seed is what Jesus Christ gave. Satan has come. Mm -hmm. By the time we came to Fort Church, yeah, Satan has almost 90% work plus destroyed. Mm -hmm. Can the word of God die? No. Therefore, it must leave. And so for it to leave now, that is why we are talking about the seed and the shock. So this is now, the seed is now coming up. It will come up through this place now, which we call the stock. This is the stock. But there's life. Do you see any corn here now? No. But is there life in this in this stock or not? Yeah, there is life. Yeah. Which life? The life, the life that is in the corn, which is in the, in the what Jesus Christ had first given, which mm -hmm. is, this time I thought it has destroyed. Do you understand that now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when it comes up, when it comes up. Then after a while, eh, it's coming up. They begin to bring out all these things that look like small, small flower, eh? leaves. Okay, I think you can see it, John. Leaves. Uh -huh. They look like leaves. Eh? They are all coming from the stalk. And after a while, eh? Both the stalk and these leaves, they begin to die off. You notice they begin to change color and all that. What does that represent? That is the fifth church age of Luther. The age of justification. The just shall live by faith. So all these things that are like uh, like leaves coming out of the side, it's because when Luther came with the message from Christ, he gave the message, the stock was alive, vibrant, he gave the message, all these things start appearing as Luther died off and went away, they start appearing these are the various denominations that came out of the Luther's message. 
Are you with me, George? And therefore, because these are all these denominations, the Calvinists, the Zwinglians, there are so many of them, groups that came up until some, until today, they now call themselves Lutherans. When they did this, Luther's age died off. The spirit had left it. The spirit left it. Did it mean that the seed was dead? No. It means it means it's looking for another way. It's looking for another way to come out. I hope you are following me, church. Then look at it here. Yes. Okay. So, huh? So you see. So the next thing you see, we stop that. Spirit and left. The next thing that come out is something that looks like fluffy hair. That's what is called the tassel or the pollen. I hope you can see it. That's the next stage that this seed that wants to come up, that's the next stage it will go into. As it goes to this one, is there life in it or not? Uh, George, there's life. Where's the life coming from? From the same come. All right. So this falling now is the sixth church age of John Wesley as the as the messenger. So he will come. He came, gave his message, and as soon as his message was his message was sanctification, holiness. All right. When he gave when he gave it like Luther himself, he also died off. Then those who have followed him, instead of continuing in the pattern of John Wesley, they started forming their various groups. So we start having uh, Methodists, we start having so and so, all of them coming out from John Wesley's original one message. They denominated, they formed denomination. And when they did that, the spirits left them. So this one will finally die off and fall off. Are you with me, church? Okay. Then the next stage thing we move into. It will now move into what you are looking at here now. This thing that looks like the corn itself. Mm -hmm. This is what we call the shock. I hope you can see it, George. Yes, sir. So this is what is called the shock. Where this sun is dying off, you will see something is coming up from here, under here, eh? which, from, which finally will come to this shock. Eh? Yes. When you put people look at it, say, ah, this, this is it, this is it. This is the seed. Can you can this yeah. call? Then is it transparent? Eh? At, at that stage, is it transparent? That's that's what from this now. This is what from this one now. When this one is dying off, mm -hmm. eh, something is coming up inside here mm -hmm. that eventually forms this one. And this one now is the shock. The seed has to be inside of the shop. So people look at this now and say, yes, don't worry about what the stock did. Or the, uh, yeah, don't worry about what the stock did. Uh, don't worry about what the tassel did. Now what, don't worry about uh, Buddha. Don't worry about John Wesley. Now we have got the real thing. You can see it yourself. Can't you see it? Can't you see it? This. Is the Pentecostals. It's in the seventh church age. 
Our message is Pentecost message. Luther was justification. The judge shall live by faith. That is this one. Uh, Wesley, the body was holiness, sanctification. That's six church age. At the death of the sixth church age, we come into the seventh church age. That's when Pentecost is supposed to happen. The gifts will now return to the church. And in 1906, in a place called Azusa Street mm -hmm. in California, a black man called William Seymour, S E Y M O U R. William Seymour, they were in his church where they were meeting, and the Pentecost experience happened. And all of a sudden, the people inside there, the spirit descended upon them, and they just, blossomed, they just came out on the street, and they were behaving like people who were drunk, reminding you of what happened in the day of Pentecost in the Bible. I'm sure you all remember. Yes, sir. So that's what happened. That was when, in 1906, at Azusa Street Church there, led by William Seymour, a black man, that was where that Holy Ghost experience came again. And for the next three and a half years, three to three and a half years, that experience was being replicated in a number of places gifts of the Spirit were coming up among people in the church. And then, of course, it was, it came to nothing. It came to nothing. Because again, as happened with Luther, as happened with Wesley, this that came up immediately they started developing their various organizations. And Seymour just faded out completely, totally. Till today, you cannot say what was his message. But it's supposed to be the age of Pentecost. But when you look at this thing now, it looks to you like the real thing. You see, it's like the real thing. But in that period they're doing this, if you now tear this thing down completely, you will notice you will notice that nothing they sound. It looks so much like it, but by the time you open it up, you find that it is nothing they do. Yet, it is Pentecost age, which the seven church age in which you and I are in now. So with that thing happened and it failed, then came the real message of the hour, which is where we are now. And that is why till tomorrow, you find there is a Pentecostal today that are making it look like this is the real thing that they are doing. They look like they have the real thing. They have the, they have the message. Today, we, we, have been, we have been discussing for some time about uh, Pastor Oyaki Lome. And you notice some of the changes he's bringing about hmm? in his church. He who used to criticize us that we said 
that you should be in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, abused us thoroughly. Finally, he came to say, no, that is the correction. You shall no longer be in Father's Son because it is wrong. And you notice also he brings out things about William Brown. So that will make you say, hey, this is a, this was really now. But well, look at today's paper. It is Christian Akinomo everywhere. It's his birthday. Yeah. Everywhere. Anybody who bought paper today just know that he only, he only bought yeah. paper to see this on Akinomo in various forms. You will always see that emptiness. Do you imagine that Barham will ever allow something to happen in his life? I'm trying to explain something to you here. It's not about Christ as a person. I'm trying to explain to you that like like Pentecostalism will always look like it's the real thing, whereas in fact it is not. But remember that the goal is for the seed to come alive again. This seed that was planted. And when it comes alive again, you cannot equate it with the shock. So the shock hides the seed. Do you understand? Yes. So when you mm -hmm. go back now to the promise of God, sorry, we'll close in 10 minutes, please. Bear with me, those on the platform. When you go back to the Old Testament, yes. when, was the pro when was the promise of the seed given? Abraham. Huh? Before to Abraham. When the seed first come up, uh, Genesis three fifteen. Genesis 3.15. When God cursed the serpent and said, "The seed of the woman will bruise your head, and you will bruise his heel." And Catholic Church teaches till tomorrow that it is Mary who bruised the head of the serpent. In other words, Mary is the seed referred to by God in Genesis 3.15. Absolute falsehood. Don't forget that from age one to age four, as we enter into a, the second church age to the fourth church age, it was Catholic Church that was the vehicle of Satan to destroy the seed that Christ had planted, to bring it into that period we call the Dark Ages. The, the dark ages, which ended at the end of the fourth church age, during which we were the dark ages, Catholic Church killed nothing less than 68 million believers. And hmm. uh, why kill them? Because they say your doctrine is wrong, it's not that of Christ. In other words, you don't, you don't have the seed, which is the word of God, and therefore we cannot follow you. And the Catholic Church killed them because he wanted this other, their own seed to come. So you now, you now see, you now see that at this time now, when we are talking about this, this thing here, when we are talking about this, uh, what is this? Shock. 
So, you now move from Genesis 3, you go to Abraham. And God gave the promise of the seed to Abraham. Now, some people do not connect Jesus to it because they are not reading the Bible correctly. God gave the promise of the seed to Abraham and to his seed after him. You see, you will notice that that same promise that God gave to Abraham, he gave it to Isaac. And when Isaac was born, he gave it to Jacob. And that's how it continued until David. And who is the son of David in the Bible? Jesus. I'm showing you that what God was talking about, see, he was talking about Jesus. Are you with church? Yes, sir. Therefore, look at Abraham now. God said, you will have a child. That's the seed. And through that seed, you will have the seed, which finally results in Jesus. And with whom did God say that Abraham will have that seed? Yeah. Sarah. Sarah. And then Sarah, after a while, Sarah said, time don't they pass, oh. Time don't they pass, oh. yeah, We are not getting young, oh. Did Sarah, I ask you again, did Sarah reject the word of God? No. Huh? Yes. No. Yes. No. Okay, stop. Before, before we argue, some are saying yes, some are saying no. Let us go back again earlier. Serpent said to who? Eve. Has God said that shall not eat of this fruit, that if you eat of it, you will die, you will, you will surely die. And what is uh, Eve replying? She said, yes. yes. So God said, if you eat it, you shall surely yes. die. And uh, serpent said, but don't worry about that. You shall surely not yes. die. Did Eve believe um, serpent. serpent or not? Yes, she believed. Eh? Yes. Therefore, did Eve doubt serpent or she believed serpent? She believed. She believed serpent. Okay. So, therefore, did she reject the word of God point, or she yes. doubted the word of God? At that point, she rejected the word of God. She rejected. We all agree on that, Abby. Yeah. Okay. Let's move forward to say that now. God said, Abraham, you and Sarah, you will have a child. Later on, Sarah came to him and said, my dear, child, don't they go? Mm -hmm. eh? And we must have this child. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to present my maid to you. Eh? Mm -hmm. go, 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 through it, go through that. So I'm asking you, did Sarah reject the word of God she or she doubted it? She rejected. She doubted. She doubted. She did not reject. It is different from Eve. Eve rejected totally. I agree with you, serpent. We shall surely not die. Sarah is saying, uh, let us have the seed, yeah, but we can go through another way. She doubted. So you understand. Yeah. So Hagar, he, listen to me now. Hagar played the role of stock. Are you with me, church? Sarah, Edgar, Sarah, Hagar delivered a perverted child, yeah. which is Ishmael. Therefore, the descendants of Ishmael today are what? Perverts. It does not matter whether anybody agrees or not, but yeah. this is what it is by this Bible, and which is the word of God. Are you with me, George? Then we are not talking about Sarah. Did Sarah later come to have the child with Abraham or not? Yes. Yes. So Sarah, although she doubted, 
to produce the natural seed. Do you understand that, church? Yes, so what you are now waiting for is the spiritual seed. Are you with me, church? Yes, sir. Who produced the spiritual seed? Sarah. No, Mary. 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 You catch it now, church. Yes, Therefore, yes, Hagar will play the role of stock, stock mm -hmm. which is the equivalent to Luther. Huh? Yeah. Are you with me, Sarah? Yeah. Sarah will play the role of the tassel or the pulling, mm -hmm. which is talking about who? Wesley, right? Huh? Yeah. What is left? Jesus. Pentecost. Therefore, Mary. Therefore, in that sense, represents Pentecost. Is the shock that is carrying the seeds. Did you see, yeah, did you yeah. see how this thing is all about? Yeah. And now, Catholic Church is doing this damnness to make Mary the seed. Whereas Mary is not the seed, Mary is the carrier of the mm -hmm. seed. So Hagar, uh, Sarah, Mary are all carriers of the seed. Do you understand that, church? But well, the seed is inside of the shock. shock. Therefore, how can the shock, which is just more or less like protecting the seed, when we are not talking about being blessed, now, shock wants to be air along the sea. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, church, no. does it make sense? No. So let us leave it there. And next week, we we'll end this teaching. Next week, by God's grace. God keeping us and right here, not here, coming to take us away. I thank you on the glorious name. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, our Lord and our God, for what you have done this evening, teaching us your word. We rejoice, we glorify you, we magnify your most holy name. For you are Lord, you are God, and beside you there is none else. Thank you for your spirit that has blessed us this evening, the Lord. Father, I pray, even tonight, as your children have a rest, may your spirit explain this matter to them even clearer than you have used the voice of man to do. Let every one of us receive deep understanding of this message that we will be able to go and teach it to others as well in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank you for what you have done, Lord. Blessed be thy holy name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Give your children tonight, watch over them, watch over their families. Do not allow Satan to come interfering in their lives. Amen. Every move of the enemy to give them wicked dreams and visions and all. Father, may you not allow you to have any effect in their lives, in all of us, in all our lives. Let the blood of Jesus Christ be powerful and cleanse us from all of these moves of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you because we know you have answered our prayers. Continue to have your way in our lives, Lord. Mm -hmm. They call the glory. Mm -hmm. They call the honor. Mm -hmm. They call adoration. Mm -hmm. They call the thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. For in Jesus Christ's holy name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Arise, O Lord God, and come down and show us thy mercy. Mm -hmm. For the time to favor Zion, mm -hmm. and we plead, Lord, in all committed to him, that this be the time to favor us as well, O God, in all we have committed to your hand. As you see the heart of every brother and sister, for ye the said time is come, and you have said it so. Let it be a portion in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. We the priestly blessing. Mm -hmm. The Lord bless and keep you. Amen. Let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen. Your lift his countenance upon you. Amen. God bless his children and bless his peace. Amen. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and for the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty even Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. 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 Thank God. I thank you, my brethren, Mila Kaduri, uh, Mr. Favor Kaduri, Sister Oyibo, 
And pourtant, our brother, Sadiq, our brother, Raymond, our brother, Atiku, our sister, Sidima, and those who have left, left the school, we are teaching. God bless you all the, the uh, sacrifice you have done this evening to give your time to hear the word of God. The Lord will requite it and he will bless you and reward you abundantly, spiritually and temporally. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.